Using pictures to subtract number 6.6. .6. We can use pictures of tens and ones to help us subtract. We just cross off the amount we're subtracting. Here we have 24 minus 6. We have 10, 20, 4. We're going to take away 6. We cross off 6 ones. That leaves 110 and 5, 6, 7, 8 ones. 110 and 8 ones. We look at the 6 and see that it's larger than the 4, so we need to regroup. So instead of two longs, we had one long and 10 ones. See? That made 14 ones. See? And 110. We took the 6 away and it left 18. So let's use pictures to help us. Do we need to regroup? We look at the ones place. This is a four, and that's a one. This is larger than the ones place of the minuend, isn't it? So yes, we're gonna have to regroup. So we have four tens and one one. One of the tens is broken up into the ones for the ones place, see? The four tens becomes three tens. The one becomes an 11. We need to take away 24. We take away 1, 2, 3, 4, and we need to take away two tens. 1, 2. That's going to leave us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones, and 1 ten. 11 minus 4 is 7, and 3 minus 2 is 1. That works. All right, let's try it again. Here we have 55 minus 25. Do we need to regroup? We have 5 minus 5. Well, this 5 is not larger than that 5. They're the same number. So we need to take away 25. We take away 5 ones from the 25 for the 25. We take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we need to take away the two tens. We can take away this as one of the tens. We can take away this one as the other ten. And we're left with one, two, three tens. We did five, take away five, and that gave us a zero. And we did five, take away two, and that gave us a three. And we have three tens. It worked. Let's try it one last time. We have 25 minus nine. We have one ten two tens, and five ones, and we need to take nine away. This nine is larger than that five, so we needed to regroup, so we broke a ten up as ones, see? We took one of the tens away from here, it became a one, now we have one ten. We gave it to the ones place, now we have fifteen ones, not five, see? We have fifteen ones. Now we take the nine away, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to leave us with one ten and five six ones. Fifteen minus nine is six, and we drop the one down. See? So you can use the pictures, just cross out the ones that you're subtracting. And even if the picture is of a ten long like this, you can cross off little ones from here. Just remember that now it's not a full 10 anymore because you took some of it away, right? Let's try some critical thinking. Do you remember back in Chapter 3 we talked about less than, greater than, and equal to? We talked about that in Video 3.13. There'll be a link to that in this description if you need to watch it again. Do you remember that the big mouth eats the big number, whichever side the big number is on? And do you remember that this sign is a less than sign? It kind of makes the shape of an L. See the L here? If I turn my camera sideways, it looks like less than. So you know that the sign that's facing like this, that's going this way, is the less than sign because it kind of makes an L. See? So it says, write a number that makes each number sentence true. 40 minus 20 is less than 40 minus something. Well, this side is supposed to be less. See? 40 minus 20 is less than. This side needs to be less. This side needs to be greater. What we can do is do the subtraction. 
40 minus 20, 4 tens minus 2 tens is 2 tens. We need this side to be larger, greater than 20. So if we take away an amount that's fewer than 20, it'll make this side greater. If we don't take as many away, then this side will stay larger. We could guess and check. We just need an amount that is fewer than 20. What if we took away 10? We'd have 4 tens minus 1 ten. That would be 3 tens and no ones. 20 is less than 30? Yeah, that works. And in fact, we could have used any number 19 or smaller. As long as it was smaller than 20, this side would have stayed greater because we wouldn't have been taking away as many. Okay? I know that could be confusing. Let's try it with greater than. 70 minus 30 is greater than 70 minus something. So this side has to be greater. This side has to be less. 7 tens minus 3 tens is 4 tens. That would be a 40. So this side is 40, and it's going to be greater than this side. So what can we take away from the 70 so that it'll be less than 40? We know this side equals 40. 70 minus 30 equals 40. We need to make this side smaller than a 40. The only way to make this side smaller than a 40 is to take more than 30 away. If we take more away from this side, then this side will end up being smaller. See? We can guess and check. What if we took away 40 or 50? Let's try taking away 50. That's bigger than a 30. 7 tens minus 5 tens is 2 tens. That would be a 20. 40 is greater than 20? Yeah, that works. As long as this side was a 31, a 32, a 33, and we could have kept going on and on and on and on and on on the number line and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. As long as this number was bigger than the 30, that means we were taking more away from the 70. That's what made it less, okay? I know this can be confusing. Well, sometimes you have to watch a video twice in order to understand it, okay? But if you guess and check, then you'll come up with a number that works. Just try subtracting a number, do the math, and see if it is less than or greater than that number, okay? And like I said, there'll be a link to the less than greater than video in this description, all right? We're going to continue talking about regrouping in two-digit numbers. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.